Hi there, Loy Macedo. It's me and you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo and think personal branding? Uh, right now, the time is 4.43 in the morning, okay? Uh, Saturday 19th uh, of September 2020. I woke up at around uh, 3 o'clock and I thought I would answer the questions that you people have sent me. Remember, I had put this on my YouTube uh, channel announcement that you can ask me anything and I would select, um, let's say, you know, the, the best questions. So this time what I've done is I've taken various questions, different, different categories and I've chosen all. Obviously, I can't uh, answer all of them. So these are the ones that made it um Whatever comes within this video, I'll be sharing it. So, I uh, hope you appreciate uh, the fact that I'm responding to you. And this is my way of saying thank you for always being part of the channel. So, let's move on uh, with the questions. The question categories are, uh, what's with the beard? What do you plan to buy? By the way, I'll be putting timestamps down below so you can check which question is what. Um, I'll just answer briefly, okay? Uh, beard, uh, what's with the beard, new appearance, which new system planning to buy, my thoughts on GoPro, Home Hero 9, working from home, influences in UAE, job related question, cryptocurrency, self discovery, inner change, Thailand citizenship, digital no bad, IT jobs in Dubai, sales and marketing, dating girls, UAE in Israel, Economic crisis, Netflix, Black Lives Matter, baldness, COVID-19, getting a shout out, getting married, advice to youngsters, public speaking, and who's my favorite um, WWE and you know UFC fighter. Okay, so uh, timestamps will be put down below. Let's start with the questions. The first one, what, <laughs> what's with the beard? Are you planning to convert to Islam? So, no, I'm not planning to convert to Islam. The beard was just a kind of experiment that I decided to see how long uh, uh, can I keep a beard. Uh, I, I decided like I would go maximum for a month because my in my previous videos, if you see, I always had a nice beard, but later on, I, I never kept it. And I have this bad habit of plucking the hair. So, you know, sometimes when you pluck the hair, the hair grows inside and comes all weird so i decided okay i'll just leave my face i'll not touch it i'll just let the beard go for a month i started off i think um, um september um, before september august few days before it ended and uh, now it is september i'm waiting on october 1st is when i'll be shaving and uh, if there's a demand for this i'll actually put up a video and i'll show you how i trim and shave and you know all this from up the head as well as the beard so let me know in the comment section <laughs> below would you want me would you want a video to show you how do i actually shave with the trimmer then the you know with the electric razor and with the proper razor like what is the technique that i use to shave both the face and the head and how do i do it without any cuts so if you like just put your comments down below i might actually put up a video for this Okay, next one. What is the new system that you're planning to buy? Okay, the new computer system that I'm planning to buy is a Windows computer. The reason being is I want to get back to Windows and learn the nuances of Windows. I would be going for a core, uh, I think the topmost core is Core i9. Uh, Alex from India, he is a good friend. Uh, he is kind of guiding me on this. And there is uh, one young boy, uh, he's Rovina's son from Qatar. He is also giving me bits and pieces here. And there, 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 there are a couple of good guys. But Alex is the main guy. Alex from India. He's a young chap. He's guiding me on this. I'll be buying the uh, Core i9. Uh, sorry, uh, it's a 12 core. 12 core i9. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of the new uh, NVIDIA graphics card, the 3080. But I guess it's sold out and people are crazy. So maybe I'll go one level lower. Um um, it, it would be spec'd up. It would be properly spec'd up. The monitors that I'd plan is 32 inches to 32 inches. So one will be for maybe a game will be on. The other one would be uh, just programs. The programs that I normally use now, obviously Final Cut Pro will not be available on Windows. Uh, that For that, the iMac is always there. I am thinking of getting into DaVinci because I'm not a very big fan of paying every year uh, uh, you know, Adobe, uh, it seems you have to pay every year, which I'm not a very big fan of. So I might learn DaVinci. And um, the thing is, because I open multiple programs, uh, DaVinci, Photoshop, 
maybe 64 tabs, then uh, multiple chats, softwares like apps. Uh, I have Messenger, I have WhatsApp, I have uh, Signal, I have so many. Then, um, you know, so always there is something happening. And then there are YouTube videos running at the background. Then there is something else happening. So uh, I think the RAM would be something around 64, maybe 64 or 128. That's that's what I'd be putting. Um, but do let me know your recommendations. Uh, I'm by the way, I'm not a big fan of RGB. I, I don't know why people are going crazy about it. I I did purchase a Logitech uh, wireless. This one I just purchased, just temporary, just to see how is my feel on this. I might get the Logitech, the latest one. I can't get the name of it. It's without the numerical pad. It seems it's great for gaming as well as programmers. This is the current mouse that I'm using. Uh, Logitech, this for Windows. It's a big bulky one, but really nice. Kind of like it. Uh, so I might not actually purchase another mouse but then again i have now three mouse i have legion i have a uh, razor gaming i have I don't know, so many things i have in the house here so yeah um in terms of uh, uh that is in terms of the uh windows setup in terms of laptop uh i don't think i actually need a laptop for now but if i do think of purchasing a laptop um it's definitely not going to be an apple a macbook pro because they are crap utter crap uh, I might actually purchase maybe the Dell XPS 17 or, you know, maybe that uh, I was thinking of purchasing, you know, the dual screen when, I, when you open it. I think it's a, a Acer Zephyrus. When you open it, there is one screen here and there's another screen here. But then again, some other people are saying, no, this is very fragile. So maybe I'll go for a Dell XPS 17. So this is the new system. And Ayush Tomar also asked me that. You told me that you'll buy a secondary laptop. No, Ayush, I. I might actually sell the Legion uh, gaming laptop. I do have a um, uh, current gaming setup. Uh, I think it's a uh, i5 or i7. Uh, uh, I, I don't know the exact uh, system uh, config, but I, I would be getting rid of this. Um, it's it's a gaming. It, it's pretty good. It pay, plays 1080p uh, games pretty flawlessly, but I'm pretty sure it's not meant for heavy-duty work. So this is what um, I'm planning to buy next. Okay, then the question is, Loy, are you planning to buy the, what do you think of GoPro Hero 9? And are you planning to buy it? No, not actually. No. Um, I already have two GoPro Hero 8. I also have the DJ Osmo, uh, pocket. Uh, that, that is good enough. I, I don't see the reason. See, the GoPro Hero 9 is good. It's not that it's not good. It's really good. And especially with the new, uh, uh you know, screen that is at the front. Uh, but the reason why I wouldn't want to go for it is because if you buy the GoPro Hero 9, it it has a bigger battery. So you have to buy new batteries. You have to buy a new setup. You have to buy a new casing. You have to buy everything new. This is how uh, IT companies make money. When they come out with something new, they come out with new cables. They come out with new dongles. They come out with new systems. They come out with new attachments. They come out with new batteries. So you cannot use anything of the old. So they just want you to spend. And that is how they make money. In the guise of a new improvement. I personally speaking, I think the GoPro Hero 8, uh, the two uh, that I have, is good enough. It gives me the great video. Yes, I cannot see uh, I cannot see myself on the screen. But then again, I don't need to because it has a really wide angle. So I'm very happy with this. And I personally speaking, I don't think for the next three to four years, I'm going to upgrade it until it completely dies out. Okay, until it completely dies out. So I'm not planning to buy the GoPro Hero 9. But if in case you do not have a handheld device, I would say absolutely go for the GoPro Hero 9. And yes, I also did get a question, Loy. What do you think of the new Galaxy uh, Note 10 20 or uh, Note 20? Yeah, whatever. I, I checked it out. It's overly priced and uh, the, the features are too much. It's like overkill, you know? It's like most uh, 8K video. Who's going to shoot 8K videos when you're going to upload this on Instagram or when you're going to upload on YouTube? It's not going to look like 8K. So. It's just overkill. I don't think you need it. And it's too expensive. If you really want the best phone that I'd recommend for you is the OnePlus, uh, OnePlus 7T Pro. I think that is without a doubt since the past two years or three years, the best phone. And today you can get that, I think, 
uh, a nice even a brand new model i think you can get it for 600 dollars or maybe a second hand so that would be my choice okay